Within the concentration camp system of the Second World War, there were a huge number of violent and barbaric SS guards that inflicted misery onto prisoners. Inside the camps such as Bergen-Belsen and Nordhausen, executions were carried out on a daily basis, with them being performed in front of many other prisoners to send a clear message. But there were some high-ranking SS members who acted as the commandants and the people in charge of the killing operations and runnings of the camps. These men, such as Rudolf Hurst, became the commandants of the horrific sites, and many after the war were sentenced to death and were seen as the ones responsible for the crimes committed there. One man who was sentenced to death and executed was Otto Firschner, who worked as a commandant at a number of sites, including Mittelbau Dora, a savage slave labour site in which 20,000 people died during the just two years it was in operation. It was known for being one of the most brutal and inhumane sites, where prisoners were forced to work very long hours and were deprived of basic necessities. Join us today as we look at the justified execution of the Commandant of Mittelbau Dora. And remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Otto Firschner was born in 1902 inside a small town in Bavaria. He was brought up on his family's farm and was given a normal upbringing. It was within Bavaria and the lands around it which the Nazis emerged from, and Adolf Hitler's Munich Putsch placed the politician in the forefront of the world's press and eyes from this region. Firstner, in 1922, enlisted to become part of the Reichswehr, the official German armed forces that remained following the First World War. The numbers of soldiers and what they could do was limited, however Firstner then remained in the armed forces for the next 12 years. When he left the army, he was then involved in the SS, and he joined the group led by Heinrich Himmler, and was transferred and assigned to its military wing, the Waffen SS. But as an SS man, between April 1934 and December 1936, he was part of an SS training school, and following this he became a paid-up member of the Nazi party. But in 1941, following the launching of Operation Barbarossa, and the German invasion of the Soviet Union, he served as an officer in the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking. This detachment was part of heavy fighting during the intense battles on the Eastern Front, but during this, Firstner was injured in battle and was then declared unfit for combat duty. He was then transferred to the SS Death Heads Unit and initially was sent to Buchenwald concentration camp. At Buchenwald, he was involved in the economic part of the camp and was involved in making sure that the site was as profitable as it could be through the use of slave labour. It was a relatively senior position and he was in charge of maintaining law and order also, and also regularly he took roll call, and they often worked with our syringes and female guards to ensure that law and order was maintained all over the place. But after being valued in this role at Buchenwald, he was considered for a senior position, and then he was given command as a commandant of the newly built Mittelbau Dora concentration camp. Initially it worked as a subcamp at Buchenwald, however it became one of the most brutal and savage camps of the Second World War. Prisoners came there from all over Europe, and many were political prisoners, but they suffered extreme cruelty. They suffered from many injuries from the work they were forced to conduct. In total, 60,000 prisoners worked at Mittelbau Dora in its camps, and it's believed that around 20,000 were killed. There were around 350 prisoners executed by hanging there, with 200 accused of sabotage, but the camp saw huge transfers of prisoners from Auschwitz and other sites. At Mittelbau Dora, the tunnels there where prisoners worked were top secret, and many were used for the production of rockets, including the V-2, the colossal wonder weapon. The purpose of the camp was to supply slave labourers for work in the V-weapons programme. As well as being the Commandant of Dora, he was also the Managing Director of the Mittelwerk GmbH company, where the slave labourers and prisoners would work for. There were virtually no sanitary facilities at the camp, except for barrels that were used as toilets, and many people died from hunger, overworked the cold weather and thirst, as they were worked to death with little food and water. In the winter months, the death toll was so severe with the cold weather, and it was said that work detachments of Mittelbau Dora had the highest death rate of any other camp in the concentration camp system. Otto Firschner ultimately oversaw the conditions there, and was later replaced as a managing director of the company for the V Weapons production in April 1944 but he attracted criticism from the Gestapo and also the SD because of his work at the camp. He was criticised often by the forces for being too lenient and soft on prisoners despite the huge death toll. 
the Gestapo and SD believed he should have driven more people further to their deaths. He was seen as too soft, and they also criticised how he selected some of the carpos and prisoner functionaries to work. As he selected a number of German communist inmates for these positions, and the Gestapo suspected that he could have communist sympathies. But because of this, his reputation was damaged, as in November 1944, many of the carpos he appointed were found to have been involved in resistance inside Mittelbach Dora. They had been involved in sabotaging the V Weapons project and not making the armaments to specification, and this cost the German army a huge fortune. They were creating rockets which would not work because of the sabotage, and on top of this, Otto Firschner failed to report a suspicious payment of 10,000 Reichmarks which he had been given as the boss of the Mittelwerk company. Because of this, in February 1945, he was sacked as a commandant, and was then replaced by Auschwitz commandant, Richard Bayer. He did serve briefly as a commandant of a subcamp, known as Kauferin, which fell under the Dachau complex. Here 15,000 prisoners died, but in April 1945, as the camp was liberated, Firstler was arrested by the American army. He was then considered a defendant in the Dachau concentration camp trial, and was tried along with 40 other officials, who worked at subcamps and at Dachau. Of the defendants, 36 were sentenced to death, and 28 of them were hanged. Otto Firstner was indicted on charges of war crimes, which came from his time as a commandant of Kauferin. Firstner was only the commandant for a couple of months, but conditions there were terrible. One former prisoner stated, and the attrition was very, very high, and, but there, the bodies weren't burned. They were taken to a site in mass graves, huge mass graves. I don't think they've ever been found. I wouldn't be able to find outside Kauferin, and huge mass graves. It's not very far from the Landsberg prison, and it was so bad that we had a lot of people taking their lives there. People were going into the electric wires, and I remember that's the only time I ever saw cannibalism. There was so little food in 45, they're out in January, February and March. In the days that Firstner was a commandant, things were terrible and prisoners were forced on death marches, which resulted in large-scale executions and killings. He would have received instruction and information as to the death marches, but the crimes he committed as a commandant of Mittelbau Dora also came to light. For this he was sentenced to death. Many former concentration camp guards and members of staff were executed at Landsberg prison after the war. A couple of gallows stood in the courtyard of the prison that took the lives of many former Nazi guards and SS members. On the 28th of May 1946, Otto Firschner was led from his prison cell and was flanked by members of the military police who confirmed his identity at the bottom of the stairs of the gallows. A priest accompanied him to his execution and then Firschner was led up the stairs of the gallows. The hangman secured the noose around his neck and they placed a black cap over his head. Quickly he then did his checks and released the lever and following this Otto Firschner plunged through the trap door. He was the commandant of two concentration camps who throughout the Second World War was involved in the running of some of the most barbaric and brutal camps used by the Nazis to inflict pain and suffering onto thousands of people. Despite Firschner attracting criticism at times for not being harsh enough, he was a man who drove thousands of people to their deaths, and he oversaw some of the most brutal conditions inside of the concentration camps. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.